Welcome to A level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss past paper questions on waves and electricity from May June 2023 paper 2. As always, we do, we will discuss these questions in detail so you can improve your conceptual understanding of these topics and also you can have better understanding of these questions. Let's study together, let's improve together. In today's class, we are talking about paper 2 and total time for this paper is 1 hour and 30 minutes and total mark for this paper is 80. Question 1 says waves may spread out as they pass an object. Which of the following is the name of this process? Spreading out of waves when they pass through a gap or they pass an object this process we call is diffraction. I mean this phenomenon is called diffraction. So the answer for this question is A. Spreading out of waves. So it's very important. You need to understand. Diffraction is spreading out of waves when they pass an object or when they pass through a gap. Question 2 says the time period of a wave decreases. Which of the following properties of the wave increases? Time period decreases, so simply we need to understand time period is reciprocal of frequency or we can say frequency is reciprocal of time. So if time period decreases, frequency will increase. So the answer for this question has to be B. Let's try to understand a little bit more about this question. Why answer is not A? Because amplitude of a wave is not affected by time period. So simply we can say amplitude is unaffected by time period so amplitude stays same time period increase or decrease there is no effect on amplitude for option c it is given to us speed what is the effect of time period on speed speed simply we can say speed is equal to f times lambda or we can say this is equal to lambda over t and speed of a wave it depends on medium and also it depends on type of wave different waves they have different speeds in the same medium and also same wave it has different speeds in different media so this is very important point you need to understand when speed of a wave will change so in this case it is given to us time period decreases as time period decreases lambda will also decrease so it means speed will stay constant from here we can also say lambda will be equal to v times t so in this case if time period decreases it is possible that speed will increase and lambda will stay constant so that's reason answer is not c and also answer is not d because wavelength is depending on speed of the wave and it is also depending on time period of the wave so that's reason c is not answered d is not answered these are the points you need to understand next time they can make question a little bit more tricky and they can ask you in different way also we need to understand frequency of wave it depends on the source it depends on source it depends on source very important one it does not depend on medium so if medium change frequency of the wave remains constant because frequency of the wave it depends on source it does not depend on medium so it does not depend on medium this is another important point third question says monochromatic light is incident on a rectangular glass block some of the light is reflected and some of the light is refracted as shown in the figure which of the following properties does not decrease when the light is refracted? So first of all, we need to understand in this case, light is bending towards normal. Actually, light has to go along this direction if there was no change in medium. But in this case, this light is bending towards normal. So this is our normal line. Simply we can draw here. So in this case, this light is bending towards normal so it means that this medium is denser optically denser so better way to say this is this medium is optically denser than this medium so we can say this is rare medium 
as this medium is optically denser it means speed here we can say this is medium one this is medium two so the speed in medium two is slower than speed in medium one and frequency in this medium let's say f1 and this is f2 in this case f1 has to be equal to f2 because frequency depends on source it does not depend on medium speed depends on medium so we can say speed depends on medium speed depends on medium wavelength also depends on medium so if we write on here v is equal to f times lambda frequency remains the same so if speed decreases it means lambda decreases so lambda also depends on medium if medium change lambda changes so we can say lambda also depends on medium intensity intensity is directly proportional to amplitude square so in this case some of the light is refracted and some of the light is refracted so it means that intensity will decrease so it means that in this case amplitude will decrease so amplitude will decrease so this is one thing we can say amplitude decreases lambda this decreases and intensity intensity also decreases speed also decreases so speed decreases lambda decreases intensity decreases so it means intensity decreases speed decreases lambda decreases but frequency does not change it remains constant so the answer for this question is a these are some beautiful points about properties of waves you need to understand intensity depends on amplitude and in this case some of the light is refracted some is refracted it means less energy here so it means amplitude will be lower it means intensity will be lower so the answer for this question is a question 4 says the current in the length of uniform wire is constant which of the following graphs shows how the potential difference across the wire varies with the length of the wire it is given to us it is a uniform wire means the cross-sectional area is constant so we can say uniform means that cross-sectional area of the wire is constant we can also simply draw one circuit here so in this case we have a wire so we can simply draw one wire here as well so this one is the wire so simply you can imagine this one is the wire so this is the wire this wire has uniform cross-sectional area in this case we can say this is the v so this is the potential difference across the terminals of the power supply and this one is over wire so in this case the potential difference across the wire we can say v across wire this will be equal to i times capital r and we can write down r this is equal to rho capital l divided by a so this is the length so from here we can see that this is constant this quantity is constant because it is given to us current is constant and resistivity of the wire is constant and cross-sectional area of the wire is also constant so simply we can see from here that v is directly proportional to l so l as l increases v also increases so these two quantities they are directly proportional so we can say they are directly proportional directly proportional means that graph has to be a straight line passing through the origin so this is our right answer directly proportional mean passes through origin passes through origin Question 5 says, an electron has a de Broglie wavelength of 1.55 times 10 to minus 9 meters. Which of the following gives the speed in meters per second of this electron? We have wavelength. So, lambda for an electron is equal to h over p. 
So this is momentum of moving particle. This is deep row wavelength. Deep row wavelength is equal to Planck's constant divided by momentum of a moving particle. We can little bit rearrange. We can write momentum will be equal to h divided by lambda. And momentum is equal to mv. So we can say this is h divided by lambda. We need to find the speed. So simply this will be equal to h divided by lambda times v. Planck's constant. h is a Planck's constant. And the value of Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to minus 34 joules second. Wavelength is given to us that is 1.55 times 10 to minus 9 meters. And the mass of electron, mass of moving particle, mass of electron is 9.11 times 10 to minus 31 kgs. So the answer for this question has to be D. So the key concept you need to remember is this one. D Broy wavelength for a moving particle is equal to Planck's constant divided by momentum of a moving particle. So the answer for this question is D. Today's lesson we will just stop here and I'll be uploading remaining questions by tomorrow. By tomorrow and day after tomorrow. So in next two days I will upload all the questions from this paper. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe and also leave some comments in comment section.